All right, welcome to Hack Your Content. Uh, I'm back today with yet another uh, content creation tool car called Yara.ai. So the reason Yara.ai is so intriguing to me is when I started looking into it, I said, hey, here's, here's what I think could be a very worthy Jasper.ai or Copy.ai alternative. And quite frankly, at least for me, it's one that has flown under the radar screen. And, you know, I hadn't heard about it until recently. So in the interest of full transparency, I just want to say I'm not an affiliate. I'm using the trial version. I'm putting it through its paces. Uh, although I am seriously considering uh, purchasing it for a few months to see, see how it would work out for me in creating long form content. So as you can see, it's got its, you know, sort of opening tagline. The future of writing is finally here. Um, a few use cases, social media, advertising, articles, emails, website content. And this is the thing that I thought was pretty interesting. You know, people at Google, Spotify, Zillow, Meta, Facebook, Harvard, they're all using this tool uh, so that you know, helps me feel like, you know, it's a pretty trustworthy tool to use from the standpoint of uh, content creation. And then I'm just going to scroll down to this part of it, which I think is the, the thing that interests me the most, which is writing long form original content that's plagiarism free. So, you know, here are some of the promises that Yara makes, you know, write write your draft 10 times faster, uh, create content that ranks for SEO, which we all want to do. Um, and like many tools now, they're starting to incorporate sort of a chat GPT-like interface where you can directly, uh, you know, ask questions and get answers back that you use for your content. So before I get into showing you more about Yara, I want to show you the pricing structure because that's what everybody wants to know, is how much is this going to cost me to use? So if you want to write long-form content, you need to use their growth plan. So right away, you know, they have it preset, 270,000 words a month for $82 a month. Uh, that's the, the yearly fee price would work out to 82 a month. For most of us that are, you know, single solo entrepreneurs, we are not going to write 270,000 words a month. So I just immediately take it right down to 80,000 words, which, you know, to tell you the truth, even for me would be tough to do unless I was doing this full time. So over the over a year, you know, it's $29 per month if you buy it buy it annually. Uh a lot of times I buy things monthly because I don't know how long I'm going to use them. Uh, so let's look at the monthly fee. So $35 a month for 80,000 words. That's that's a pretty good price. Now, if you go over and you look at Jasper, for example, um, you probably already know this, so I'm not going to spend a lot of time on it, but with, with Jasper and and. Just to, just to let you know, I have purchased Jasper in the past and used it quite a bit. And I do think it's a great tool. I just think it's, for me, as a solo entrepreneur, it's pretty pricey. Um, notice I've got it shifted down here to 50,000 words. So the cheapest way to write long-form content in Jasper, you've got to go down to 50,000 words a month. And, you know, annually... Uh, that works out to 49 bucks a month over an annual fee. But if you choose to purchase monthly, which sometimes I do that because, again, I don't know how long I'm going to use a tool, you know, it's $59. So when you look at Yara, 80,000 words, 35 a month. So it definitely, you know, is more economical than Jasper. So I'm going to log in and just show you what the interface looks like. Um, on the left, you have uh, left-hand navigation where you can access tools, uh, the documents you've written. Uh, I'll go into spells here in a, in a little bit. And then they have templates. So let's just go ahead and look at the tools because, you know, that's what most people want to know is what can this thing do. So right away, it just shows you every single tool. 
that they have. And I'm not going to go through every single one of these because I'm going to assume that you are a blogger, you're writing long form content. So let's look at the blog use case. Now what you get is a long form writer. Uh, so it helps you write your first draft of your uh, content. And, you know, it goes through the, you know, title, keywords, you can give it a tone, then you create talking points, and then you create your content, and then work from there. Now, a lot of people are like, well, does it have like a one click blog post type tool? So if we go back to tools, it does have what they call blog in a snap. So it is in beta version right now. Um, it works a little differently. Here I set something up where I was writing a blog post called Hardtail Mountain Bikes Pros and Cons. So, you know, I put in my blog topic, my audience, I chose a friendly tone, and then it generated this content. So I got really curious right away. I go, okay, so it's created this content. Now, if I take this and I copy it, and I drop it into originality.ai to see how what it how it how the uh, you know content AI content detection score comes out because I'm always interested in these AI detection scores. So I just copied, I just dropped it in. So let's go ahead and we're gonna scan this. 100 percent original. I mean, that's a pretty killer score right out of the box. Um, again, I can't comment on how the, a similar article in Jasper would score. I can only talk about Yara right now. But this is great. Now, does this mean every content score for originality is going to be 100%? I don't know. This is anecdotal, right? It's just one test. But it certainly uh, makes me feel good about the tool, knowing that I got a score like that. So other tools that are blog related, you know, you can write, have it write a blog conclusion. And again, you put in some attributes, variables, it generates content. Uh, you can have it generate some blog ideas. Here I wrote fly fishing for trout with nymphs. And then it gives you a bunch of different posts that you could write. Um, about fly fishing for trout with nymphs, blog intros, you can generate blog intros, blog sections. So here I wrote how to create a YouTube thumbnail for free. Explore all of the free tools for creating YouTube thumbnails. Um, that should have said canva.com. Use canva.com to create a YouTube thumbnail. And then it wrote this. So just for grins, I haven't dropped this into originality.ai. I like to put longer content than this for scoring purposes, but let's just do it because the other one scored so well, uh, but it was just one test. We'll scan it. See, this one didn't fare so well. 11% original, 89% AI. Um, so here's the deal. Um, I think more generic topics that have been written about quite a bit are going to really suffer in your originality.ai scores. You know, when you're writing about fly fishing with nymphs for trout, um, I think that has a better chance of scoring as more original content just because it's a topic that hasn't been written about nearly as much as how to create a YouTube thumbnail in Canva. Um, they have a section called Spells. Uh, so these are created by the community. They have some they've created, and then they have some that are created by the community. And these are simply just templates that you can use. In this case, you know, how to write a script for a short video. You can run this, put some content in, and then it'll generate that. And then, of course, if you uh, need a template of some kind, it does have some of these templates as well. So, for example... You know, if you wanted to do a resignation letter, uh, you know, you put in um, who the person is that's getting it, the company name, et cetera, and then you can generate that content. 
So that's really it for Yara.ai. Like I said, I'm on the trial plan. I'm trying it out. I'm pretty sure I'm going to make a purchase for a month or two. And I'll share more as I uh, go through the tool and explain to you how um, Yara has been working out for me. And, you know, specifically from a long-term standpoint, I'd like to see how it fares uh, in the Google rankings to how some blog posts created with Yara would, would fare. But if you're looking for a Jasper alternative or a Copy AI alternative, I suggest going over to Yara AI, tr you know, trying the, the trial version, see if it's something that you think would work for you. Uh, certainly sounds like there's a lot of companies using it already. Um, and, and I just brought it because brought it to you because uh, it just was one I'd never heard of before. So I hope this content was helpful for you. Uh, don't forget. If uh, you like what's going on here with Hack Your Content, please subscribe, like this video, and until next time, take care. Bye.